one of my favorite things to do um, has always been cooking. For whatever reason, I've always loved cooking. Um, I think food is like a, a common thing that we, we share amongst people. And like, I come from that, like if you love someone, you feed them kind of world. And one of my favorite things about cooking is I, I while I'm doing it, it's kind of like a, uh, what's the word? It's a, like meditation almost, like I get to sit and think. And today I was just thinking about an old lesson my baseball coach taught me. Um, and I think I've talked about this before, but it's on my mind now. Uh, about how to get confident in something and why training is such an important thing. And he used to tell me that, Elliot, the reason why you're struggling, and I was like, you know, 10, 11 years old, it's like you're struggling because you're trying to get good at baseball. Uh, you can't be good at baseball. You have to practice um, being good at the skills that lead to baseball, like hitting a ball, throwing a ball, and catching a ball. So don't try to get good at baseball, try to get good at hitting a ball, throwing a ball, catching a ball. Uh, so like right now, I'm about to make uh, Italian food, I'm about to make uh, a pasta sauce. I can't get good at making Italian food, but I can get good at making pasta sauce. And that's actually how you learn and develop new skills. And I think a lot of people struggle because, because they try to get good at solution focused instead of trying to get good at like the skills that make you good at solution focused, like asking questions about a client desired outcome and then turning that desired outcome into a useful description. That's what you need to practice and that's why training in this approach is so important. So anyway, I'm gonna go eat, I'm gonna cook and eat. I haven't eaten in a very, very long time and I'm starving, but I hope this message hits home for you. It's really important, enjoy the video. Thank you.